want to get to another story that our viewers um, have been following. We've been sharing with you, our viewers, about the South Fulton Mayor, Khalid Kamau, returning to the office just days after being arrested. He actually led last night's uh, city council meeting. And this was the mayor's first public appearance since he was released from jail on Saturday. Despite facing some felony charges of burglary and trespassing, um, he is really not giving many answers to the city and the residents. The thing is, guys, we had to understand, man, when you hire a self-proclaimed socialist mayor, somebody that's, uh, you know, again, he's right there into the Black Lives Matter stuff. He's a Black Lives Matter activist, which is, again, man, the, the founders of that group are self-proclaimed Marxists. So again, we understand that if you're associated with that group and you call yourself a socialist, you're going to have weird behavior. You are. Because again, man, he believes, again, what yours is mine and what mine is yours. But what he actually believes is what mine is mine and what yours is mine. And again, man, that's his area. That's his city. And he's the mayor. He is a damn mayor. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. He's a damn mayor, man. He can do what he wants. So how dare somebody tell him that he's doing something wrong? And how dare someone hold a gun on him and, and, and tell him to get the F out of my house? Again, that's, we have to understand that uh, these people, people, they have this kind of mindset. They believe this. They truly believe that um, they're God. This is just the very latest chapter in a string of events, which many have been wondering what is going on in this community and what is next for their city government. Man, that's, that's, that's crazy because he comes to the business all the time. Local business owner says Mayor Khalid Kamau is a frequent customer at his chicken shack on Old National Highway. Willis describes the mayor as courteous and a man who is really passionate about his community, which is why hearing the news of Kamau's arrest is shocking. You know what I'm saying? He said he was going to change the community. He was coming in to move in. He was going to change the community. He was going to make everything better. You know what I'm saying? He even supported our business. You know what I'm saying? But other residents say the news isn't surprising because things have been rocky between the city's leaders, and that has trickled down to the community. And then I see a lot of people on there complaining about, like, trash service, their taxes. Um, they feel like, you know, when they are going to City Hall and things of that nature to receive help, they're not really getting that. And they're, they were really, really upset after this last tax assessment. Back in March, South Fulton City Council members sued Kamau and tried to remove him from office. Then in April, South Fulton police shut down what they termed an illegal Easter egg hunt. Yeah, guys, I'll bring you a clip from a YouTuber named Nate the Lawyer. And yeah, he's got a pretty good channel, man, Nate the Lawyer. But I'm going to bring you a clip from that showing exactly what happened. And uh, we, have, we have got to understand, man, this guy is lucky. I mean, he's really lucky. He's not dead, really. Now, as mayor, he has listed some of his accomplishments on his website, like them declaring racism as a public health crisis. He's made Juneteenth a paid city holiday. He also wants to stop employees from asking job applicants about their past criminal history. And he also wants to eliminate Columbus Day in favor of Indigenous People Day. Now, the mayor describes himself as a college-educated community activist, Southern Black Christian Socialist. So... Why was he arrested for burglary? All right, here are the facts. On Saturday, July 9th, 2023, at about 6.50 in the morning, a homeowner called 911 to report a trespasser in his home. Now, the homeowner had video surveillance at a lake house that he used as a vacation home. Now, the mayor inadvertently tripped an alarm at the lake property. The homeowner then saw the mayor on the cameras going into the empty lake house. The homeowner got dressed, grabbed his gun, and drove to the lake house to see what's up. When the owner got to his home, he saw the mayor inside and held him at gunpoint until police arrived. Now, the mayor allegedly could be heard on the 911 call stating, Do you know who the F I am? 
I'm the mayor and I'll wait for my police to get here and then see what happens. The homeowner then responded holding the gun. No mother effer, you stay right there. So yeah, the mayor, the mayor did apologize and he did say that he just wanted to go inside to the house. And I'll show you that clip in a second, but I mean, really, I mean, they, I, again, we, we have got to understand this kind of stuff is crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. I just wanted to see the house. I do apologize to the owners. I thought it was abandoned. What? Man, again, you believe that because you're mayor, that you can go into a house. You can, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can go in, you can sit down, you can, you can look at the house, man, because you're mayor. And because nobody's home, you can, you can just walk in there and do whatever. And again, man, we know this country, at least right now, is still America. <laughs> at least right now. And man, you can't do that kind of stuff. You can't do that. Um, but the fact of the matter is, man, again, this mayor wants to get rid of, you know, Columbus Day. And he wants that to be Indigenous People Day. You know, again, we have got to understand that these the people that do this kind of stuff, they are advocating for the destruction of this country. They are truly advocating for the destruction of this country. They don't know what they're doing. They truly don't. And again, man, we cannot go and become a socialist state. We can't. We understand that if you truly look into, again, what this leads to, and not in some cases, but in every damn case, what it leads to eventually is not good. And we understand that. <laughs> it's not. But again, man, the audacity of this man to believe that, hey, yeah. I can go in anywhere I want to go into because I'm the mayor. And man, who do you think you are pointing a gun at me? Do you do you realize, man, when the police get here, they're not going to arrest me. I'm the mayor. I'm the damn mayor. Again, man, what is wrong with people? We have truly got to start asking ourselves, what is wrong with people? And how did a man like this become mayor? But anyways, guys, if you would, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...